together my reports, give you guys a chance to read it, and then have a call. Exactly, exactly. That'll give you guys a chance to let me know if uh, if there need to be any edits or there's anything that you prefer right, a little differently. Okay, Doctor, thanks. Yeah, Stephen. Yeah. Stephen. We had also sent Doctor the Minori materials. I don't know if you want to give him some direction on that. Yeah, I think his priority should be Howland and uh, and Cephas, and then. Um, just there's so much on his plate right now, and then we can talk about Minori later. Okay. Have you read Minori? No, honestly, I haven't. So just yeah. hold off on that. Hold, hold hold off on that. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Could the rest of my team stay on if you don't mind? But Doctor, thank sure. you very much. Yeah, good to see you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Hello. Hey. Hello. Are we all on? Yeah. I don't want to leave this with him. Is he going to okay. withstand? Is he going to withstand cross examination from uh, Ben Post in Cephas? Uh, and uh, Rick Margulies is not going to try Hal, and it's going to be Jimmy Young. Uh, I want to get the reports, but it's not like having Peter Page articulate it. I think he was basically giving us what Peter, I right. think his style was a little different. No, no, know, that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about his style. But he, he gave us the substance. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm, you know, look, we're talking, you know, I don't know if he's ever testified before. You know, Peter's been around the block. Did we ask him that question? Do we know whether and how often he's testified? I, I don't. I have to follow. I don't think so. I, I have to do that offline. But I don't think he's testified much. Um, and, uh, you know, Peter, when he bites it off, there's no, you know, on the one side you have this, on the other side you have that. He's, like, very direct. He's, like, the differential diagnosis absolutely required. Now, I'm not saying he can't be prepared. Uh but I got to tell you, I got a little, got a little nervous. So that's why I call, held off on the Minori. When we talked to this Dr. Harris, who's been around the block, uh, I would like to get, you know, if we like Minori, I'd like to get him, I'd like to get Harris on Minori. Okay. I mean, because you like, had, if we yeah, like, if we like him, right. Um, you, like you had him. suggested say, sending him Becker next. So we just have to okay, decide what's the priority them. if yeah. we like him. Well, we'd be the two of them. Look, look, when you put Stan Schneller on the stand, you don't have to worry. When you put Peter Page on the stand, you don't have to worry. We, when you put McMeeking on the stand, you don't have to worry. Uh, but I was worried hearing him. Am I overreacting? Well, I think you're comparing two different people. Yeah, but I know who's going to end up cross-examining him. Mm -hmm. it, the, 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 the way the medicine has been taught to us in Howland by multiple experts is this is entirely inconsistent with, with, uh, uh, Shingles. I think, yeah. and I think he was saying that. Yeah, I know. He I guess was saying he that. was saying it. The, yeah. the, the pain is the pain is a tricky issue because she she did she did have a complaint of pain, and then we get into the level of pain. If you remember, it isn't that that she says it wasn't painful, but they did document, I believe, two out of ten, and she was prescribed uh, Tylenol on the way out the door. Mm -hmm. Right, but he's saying if you have shingles, and as somebody who has had shingles. Your pain is a fifty. I get that. I get that. But but what 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 Paige had told us is the dermatomes, the pain, and the picture, and the fact that the scalp is involved. Uh, it's like this is cellulitis until proven otherwise. You want to include uh, uh, acyclovir to cover it, fine. But it's it's entirely inconsistent. The way I heard him say it is 
Yeah, it's a little more it's a little more on the cellulitis side than it is on the shingles side. That's the way I heard it. But maybe I'm not hearing it correctly. I mean, that's his first pass. I don't think that that's what he's going to sound like when he testifies. Okay. Obviously, we're we're gonna we it may take some work, but he'll be. I I feel like he's preparable. Yeah, and I think he was just presenting it more as a clinician, like. I know. You know, you might right. think that's I, I, the... I, I think more, it's, it's me, it's me reacting to the loss of Peter. Right. Because it's going to be Ben who's crossing. Listen, Peter was a little weaker until at the end on Cephas on the cat scan right out of the box. Right. In the ER. So that, that part was good against Dr. Pro. Right. We had to get him back on board on that. No, I was surprised to hear him say that right out of the box. It was like you needed to get cast in the ER. Be, I thought he was going to be stronger on Halland and then weak on the ER at Cephas, but strong that once she got admitted to the hospital, naturally you have to do a CT scan, which yeah. he gave us both. Uh, you know, if you remember, in, in both Becker and Minore, the ER piece to it is a little softer. You know, from the ER standpoint, it's they didn't do antibiotics fast enough. But they did do uh, surgical consult and urology consult. And then, you know, the, the, the both, both of those cases are less about the ER and more about the uh, specialists. Right. Dropping the ball. Right. Source control. So given that, are you saying he would be okay on those cases or? No, no. I, I think in those cases, I, 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 I just want to get a, I, I want to hear from another ER expert, not having Peter, I want to hear if when we talk to Harris, if he's someone who has, who, 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 uh, feels to me a little bit more like a fighter. Because all these cases, they're, they're, they're every, even these cases that are such strong cases. I mean, Joe just sent me an email, a woman who had a ceiling fall on her head. <laughs> and, and, and they're going to raise a defense. Right. Right. It's like, Jesus Christ. What's the defense? The ceiling fell on her head. That she she made she, whether she lost consciousness for a, a, a second or she believes she lost consciousness, who cares? Right. She didn't make it up. Neuropsychologic testing shows she's not malingering. But like everything is like like everyone on the other side is so dishonest. At least Don Brooks's reports in Haynes, I you know, it wasn't it, it didn't bother me so much. Don Brooks's reports in Haynes. Does anyone disagree with that? I guess I'm just a, a little surprised because I think like we advocate for our clients depending on who we represent. So we're zealously advocating for our clients. Aren't they just doing the same thing for their clients? We don't make shit up though. No. I mean, you know, we don't, we don't have any, we don't have a case where there's an in utero defense. I don't know of any case that we have. I think there's been, there's, there's creative zealous arguing, but I think the most aggressive position that we've taken in the last 15 years was in Vicari. And at the end of the day, we lost the case, but it came down to choice. We never said that the standard of care was to administer chemo. We said that the standard of care was to offer chemo after consultation with a medical oncologist. And that was hard to get. Mm -hmm. But I can't think of another case. You know, Damon Williams was a lot of work to get to the theory. But when it was presented and when it was packaged, and it was thought through, uh, 
Uh, the head of risk management, John O'Donnell, said it was the clearest case of liability.